Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel Simple Nursing Notes. Once again, today we are discuss about obstetric and gynecological nursing. Ame obj 50 question already do it video re padi sari chi e video ti re ami au 25 question answer discuss kariba au jeu mani channel re new asi chanti se mane ko pai se dui ti janko video ehi video ro last re end skin re achi apan mani jaiki padi nebe so let's get started our class question number 51 what is the normal color of amniotic fluid when the bag of water ruptures clear green is brown is and golden the answer is a amniotic fluid is a clear liquid as like water abnormal color of amniotic fluid green color meconium stained meconium is the first stool of fetus jetebele fetus mother um bhitare stool pass kari thai setebele amniotic fluid ra color dark green hoi thai ebang this dark green amniotic fluid indicates respiratory distress in the newborn infant Golden color amniotic fluid is seen in RH incompatibility. RH incompatibility ro meaning hai uji, maternal RH positive ebang fetal RH negative hoi thai. Ebang eha dwara fetus ra RBC breakdown hoi thai. And sometimes it leads to death of fetus. Then saffron color amniotic fluid indicates post maturity of fetus. Post maturity meaning postum pregnancy. Dark brown or tambaku juice color amniotic fluid indicates intrauterine death of fetus. Question number 52. Percentage of water in amniotic fluid is 80, 90, 70 and 98. The answer is D. In amniotic fluid, the water percentage is 98%. Number 53. An amniotic fluid index of less than 5 cm indicates these are the absence. The answer is D. When amniotic fluid index of less than 5 cm or 200 ml is called oligohydramnios. Anhydramnios meaning huge, the absence of amniotic fluid. Number 54. Polyhydramniosis is a condition when the amniotic fluid volume exceeds more than decibel. Absence are 1000, 1500, 2000 and 2500. The answer is C. 2000 ml. Ime time hiu chi previous video re apad man ko pahin chen question thila tara answer de baro. The answer is B. Lik karab ni. Jiyo mani yara answer dee chandhi. Samash the right answer dee chandhi. So our next number is the transmission of infection from the mother to fetus through the placenta is termed Iatrogenic, teratogenic, nasochromial, and vertical. The answer is D. Vertical. Number 56. The umbilical vein carries oxygenated blood, deoxygenated blood, mixed blood, and all of these. The answer is A. The umbilical vein carries oxygenated blood from the placenta to the fetus. Number 57. The blood vessels in the umbilical cord consist of Two veins and one artery, two arteries and two veins, one artery and one vein, two arteries and one vein. The answer is D. Two arteries and one vein. A question answer money rakhya pahin. Got easy term hiuji. A, B, A, Ava. Two arteries and one vein. Number 58. The strongest ligament in the female pelvis is reverse cervical, oblique cervical, transverse cervical and none of these. The answer is C. The strongest ligament in the female pelvis is transverse cervical. Number 59. Number of bones in female pelvis is 1, 2, 3 and 4. The answer is D. The pelvis consists of 4 bones. The right and left hip bones, the sacrum and the coccyx. Number 60. The pelvis is divided as Inlet cavity outlet, brim cavity outlet, brim inlet outlet and brim inlet exit. The answer is A. The pelvis is divided as inlet cavity and outlet. Number 61. Which one of the following is the female pelvis? Android, gynecoid, false pelvis and anthropoid. The answer is B. Gynecoid is the female pelvis.
Number 62. Brim of the gynecoid pelvis is dash in shape. Heart, kidney, oval, round. The answer is D. Brim of the gynecoid pelvis is round in shape. Number 63. The ideal pelvis for childbearing is dash pelvis. Anthropoid, platypoid, gynecoid and android. The answer is C. Gynecoid pelvis. Because gynecoid pelvis is more delicate, wider than the male and the angle of the female pubic arch is wide and round. That's why the gynecoid pelvis is the ideal pelvis for childbearing. Number 64. The brim of the anthropoid pelvis is dash shape, kidney, round, heart and oval. The answer is D. It is oval shape. Number 65. The switcher line between two parietal bones is called coronal, lambdoidal, frontal and sagittal. The answer is D. It called sagittal switcher. Number 66. Which one of the following pairs regarding pelvis is not correct? Gynecoid, female type, android, male type, anthropoid, waist type, and platyploid flat type. The answer is C. Anthropoid waist type. It is not correct pair regarding pelvis because anthropoid pelvis is oval type. Number 67. Anatomical anterior posterior conjugate is also known as true conjugate, obstetric conjugate, diagonal conjugate and external conjugate. The answer is A. It is also known as true conjugate. What is true conjugate? The distance between the midline, superior point of the sacrum and the upper margin of the symphysis pubis is called true conjugate and it is anterior posterior diameter of the pelvic inlet. Number 68. Largest diameter in pelvic inlet is anterior posterior, transverse diameter, oblique diameter and none of these. The answer is B. Transverse diameter. And this diameter is about 13 cm. Number 69. Wide gap in the switcher is diameter, circumference, fontanelles and inlet. The answer is C. Wide gap in the switcher is fontanelles. What is switcher? Switcher is the connective tissue that joins between the two bones of the skull. Switcher are four types. Coronal switcher, sagittal switcher, lambdoid and squamosal switchers. Then 70. The switcher that runs between parietal and frontal bone is called coronal switcher, sagittal switcher, frontal and lambdoid switchers. The answer is A. Coronal switchers. Most common organism responsible for mastitis is Streptococcus, Staphylococcus aureus, Meningococcus and Pneumococcus. The answer is B. Staphylococcus aureus. It is the most common organism that is responsible for mastitis. Number 72. Breast self examination is recommended anytime during the cycle, first day of period, 3 to 5 days after period starts, 14 days after period starts. The answer is C. 3 to 5 days after period starts. It is the best time to do breast self examination. Number 37. Which of the following is the largest diameter of the fetal skull? Minto vertical, submento vertical, biparietal, and sub occipitobrigmatic diameter. The answer is A. Minto vertical diameter is the largest diameter of the fetal skull and it is measured about 14 cm. Number 74. The switcher that lies between two parietal bones is known as Sagittal switcher, longitudinal switcher, coronal switcher and both A and B. The answer is D. Switcher lies between two parietal bone is known as longitudinal switcher which is also known as sagittal switcher. 75. The connection between umbilical vein and inferior pinna cava in the fetal life is known as These are the options. The answer is B. Ductus venosus. This vessel has the highest oxygen concentration in the fetal life and ductus arteriosus is the connection between aorta and pulmonary artery. A number tithila, a video last number. 
अनादर क्वेश्चन आंसर गुड़िक आम नेक्स्ट भिडियो पढ़वा आई होप कि ये भिडटी आपण मानी हेल्पफुल भिडियो हो पारे जदि हाँ तो प्लीज लाइक शेयर कमेंट एंड सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग हैव अ नाइस डे